Talk about one of my favorite tools, junk people. It's the DeWalt XR brushless chainsaw. This thing comes in handy all the time, cutting trees up, wood up, anything you need to cut up, you can cut up. And this thing is battery operated and you get about 90 cuts. And I love this thing. All you gotta do is just fill it up with oil. Right here, this little cap comes off. And all you gotta do is just fill it up with oil, which is kind of low right now and you're good to go you are good to go and you can check the oil level right here and the oil we use is x guard bar and chain oil so this is a good tool to keep in your vehicle at all times you guys can get jobs done super fast especially if they're green waste jobs just cut them up the branches and uh you're good to go so this is one of my favorite tools and uh yeah check it out you hear that Get about 90 of those before the battery goes dead. So yeah, if you ain't got one of these, you need to get one. And maybe DeWalt will sponsor us to send us one. If you don't got one, I would go pick one up at your local Home Depot and just keep it in the vehicle at all times. So we're about to cut this tree up and get it done. So we are back here at another one, cutting this tree up that fell down for a customer. And we're about to get it done. And it is eight in the morning. And we're out here hustling. And I got the JoJo loading everything up. Or I got one piece cut right there. And look at the JoJo. She's on beast mode today. There, it's not that heavy of a tree. No, it's all dried out. Yeah, so yeah. Right. Oh yeah, you're about to get it done. So we're just chopping them up in manageable pieces so we can carry them out. They're not heavy, it's pretty dry, but uh, this is about a 35 minute job. Easy money. You gonna wipe your butt with that or what? What? Is that your teepee? Hey, you never know. You never know. <laughs> this day and time, those in, 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 in about a month's time, those leaves might look appealing. Oh, yeah. So how was that, JoJo? It wasn't so bad. I didn't think it was bad. Did you think it was bad? Hell no. no. So we're going to load up, get cashed out, and head to the next one, people. So stay tuned. Now, subscribers always ask me, what kind of trailer do you have? Well, I'm going to break it down to you guys. This is our dump trailer. The specs are right here. It's a one-stop trailer. Here's the specs right here. We have JoJo show you guys. It's a 12-yard dump trailer. A little bit under 12 yards. Um, it's 12 by 8 by 4, and that's wheel well to wheel well. And the maintenance I do on it is we'll just grease all these right here. Some spots you can grease. Grease right here. And... Um, change the light bulbs and pretty much the hydraulic fluid we changed that out and flushed it out probably about let me say maybe, what five months ago so we changed this out and pretty much the only thing we ever do is 
swap the batteries out because it doesn't charge on my truck. So with this Pacific trailer right here, you gotta swap that battery out when it starts dying on you. And you always wanna put this thing up whenever you guys are swapping the battery out. So if you guys are swapping batteries out, that's how you want to do it. You want to pull that up, change the battery. So yeah, that's all I do is I keep one battery at the house charged and I'll swap them out. Other than that, one thing you guys never want to do is when you guys are lifting this thing up and you're not hooked up to your vehicle, do not lift it up all the way because it can uh, tip over, guys. Other than that, change some light bulbs on it some bolts on the leaf spring and um, just keep everything greased up. And this is the trailer we have. It's a one-stop trailer. And you definitely want to get a roll-on tarp. That's a must. So don't go buy a trailer while buying one of these roll-on roll -on tarps. Makes life easy. It makes it so much easier. So much easier. And yeah, that's the trailer, 12 by eight by four. And I need some new tires. And uh, yeah, and this is my friend right here. Check him out. It's a little turtle right here. I found him at, at a job. Now I keep him right there. See how long that stays there for. So yeah, that's the trailer, guys. Not the most expensive, but uh, it gets the job done. And I don't know. I just ain't nothing better than a dump trailer with high walls. I'll get the metal walls instead of putting the wood ones on there. Wood ones you guys can use, but. The metal looks better for advertising and branding your business. And uh, the bigger the decals, the better. Mm -hmm. Just keep it simple. Have your email on there. I mean, your website on there, your phone number, and what you guys do. And yeah, that's the trailer, guys. I don't know what that's about. That's a money maker. So let me tell you the pros and cons about having a trailer, people. It's hard to turn around when you get in certain situations. Like this driveway right here is super long and there ain't no turnaround spot up top. So what I'm gonna do is just pull in straight forward and then I'm gonna load up and then back it all the way out. I don't wanna reverse it all the way in there. I'm just gonna pull in forward and then back it all the way out. So yeah, there are pros and cons. This is more of an ideal for a dump truck, but uh, we'll get it done, so stay tuned. So change of plans. We can't fit through the gate, so I'm just gonna back up and get as close as possible. So we ran into a situation where our trailer won't fit through the gate. And it may look like on video that it's not a tight squeeze, but it's very much a tight squeeze. And the driveway is this and it goes on for quite a ways and it turns and it gets even steeper so we we're like oh we're really really going to have to work really hard in uh bringing things up and down this hill but luckily the homeowner is incredibly cool and um she was like yes and she was honest too and i like that when customers are honest she was really honest about her driveway and she said you might have some difficulties um getting the trailer up here and uh, she was very much right so what she decided to do and this is great is uh we're loading up her truck up there with all the stuff and then she's driving it down and then we are you know going to be loading it in the truck so it's really really awesome when your client the homeowner is um, very understanding and willing to um, work with you on this so yeah fun getting our workout on getting our cardio in no need for a gym so yeah if you guys do junk removal you guys can quit your gym membership and get that cardio in and just work out oh yeah we're getting it you see that face right there 
Do you see that face? I just worked out today, guys. 30 minutes cardio, baby. How was it, Jojo? Yeah, that was a steep hill. A steep hill. Break your butt muscles. The lady helped us out, but you know what? I got my cardio in. And guess what happened, too? We got a full day tomorrow. We just booked some more jobs up. So we're heading to the dumps right now. And uh, we're having a good time today. I'm sweating a little bit. My salt and pepper's growing in. And uh, we're gonna eat good tonight before they lock us down. Yeah, they're locking us down. Well, no, it's not really called a lockdown. It's a shelter in place is what they're officially calling it. So I think it goes into effect tomorrow. So, so as long as the landfill's open, We'll still be hauling and balling. So, hopefully everyone's getting money, staying busy, and hopefully everyone has their refrigerators stacked up with food and, yeah, and teepee. So we're heading to the landfill. I'm gonna find out if they'll be open tomorrow or not. Hopefully they will be, because we have some jobs on the list. What? Don't what me. Just kidding, people. How you doing? That's how I really treat her. Put that leash on your ass and handcuff you up, baby. Keep acting like that. Handcuffs? I'm just kidding, guys. Handcuffs? So check it out. It's raining in Cali right now. And we still working, baby. <laughs> and the coronavirus is getting serious. And we still working, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Call some Noma Strong Holland. If you need some hauled away. Oh yeah, we out here getting the rain shine. Coronavirus, we on the grind. It don't matter. Give us a call. Are you laughing at me right now? I'm not laughing at you. I wonder why you sound like a black preacher. <laughs> I might I might be in my other life. You never know. My past life. Wow. What you talking about, Jojo? Don't win me, go cray cray. So let's see who's at the landfill. Oh, we got some people here today. And my prediction is $81. What's your prediction, Jojo? 75. 75, let's see what happens. So the Jojo won, it was $56. 860 pounds, ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. Oh yeah, one more thing. Jojo has a question for you guys. Well, I noticed um, on Facebook in a, one of the junk removal groups, one person said that they had been busy and then all of a sudden it trickled down. And then another person said that they didn't receive one phone call today. So we were just curious, um, are you seeing a difference in um, the amount of phone calls that you're getting? Leave a comment down below and let us know how things are um, like, is your phone ringing or have you noticed a slowdown also? And is your landfill open? I know I, I've seen some comments on some pages. People are closing their landfills in their area. Leave a comment down below and let us know. We're still booking jobs and uh, yeah, our landfill is going to be open. So leave a comment down below and let us know what's going on in your state and your city, guys. Yeah, I'm curious. This is affecting everybody i guess so i'm curious to see how it's affecting you so we are done for the day and we're heading back to the house and we got a new slogan saying for sonoma strong hauling we say beep coronavirus and get money <laughs> until next time guys keep hauling and balling keep getting that cash flow and stay positive in this negative world oh that's the best advice ever stay positive in this negative world yes Oh yeah.